We've been drifting helplessly in deep space for three million and three years. We are rapidly reaching the inescapable conclusion that AA man's never going to turn up. <laughs> We've spent more than three million years wandering the vastness of space and still we haven't encountered any intelligent life. Last week we bumped into Annika Rice and her camera crew. They asked us directions to Coventry Cathedral. <laughs> it turned out to be a mirage in the end. Despite our complaints, life aboard's not too bad. We're three million light years from Earth, and this morning I found out we're still included in the next Reader's Digest lucky prize draw for a Vauxhall Nova. Our progress towards Earth is constantly hampered. Last week we encountered an enormous gas giant. It was in the sleeping quarters. It's the last time we let Lister cook Mexican food. <laughs> a strange sense of utter desolation, despair and despondency seems to have descended on the crew. It seemed to start when they all watched the video, a complete history of English cricket. <laughs> Despite the terrible loneliness we all face daily, we're all managing to hold on to our sanity. Well, I am. Are you not? I am. <laughs> I suspect the crew are beginning to doubt I've got an IQ of 6,000. Ridiculous. To doubt me, who solved the ultimate enigma, the riddle of the purpose of existence. Oh, bugger me, it's gone. <laughs> In our journey through the stars, we've encountered many strange phenomena. The other day, we flew through a space mirage zone, found ourselves in an enormous restaurant where we met an exact duplicate of the 20th century comedian Ken Dodd. We all thought he was totally authentic, till he offered to pay for our meal. <laughs>